Islands! So this week we're talking about feminism and religion, which is another subscriber suggestion from our Tumblr from Yessie Writes Right. So hey, and thanks for the suggestion. As an atheist feminist, I feel like it's almost expected of me to, in this video, to talk about how religions are sexist and how they're oppressive of women, but that's not what I believe, so that's not what I'm going to do. And actually I'm kind of going to do the opposite. When I think of feminism and religion, the first thing I think of is the ban against face veils in public that went into effect in France last year. Many of the people who supported the ban did so because they wanted to protect and free women from being forced to wear the face veil. But that denied any agency at all to French Muslim women who for their own personal religious reasons, had chosen to wear the face veil in public. You can't save women by dictating to them what they can and can't wear. You're no better than someone who forces someone to wear a face veil if you're forcing them not to. The second thing I think of when I think of feminism and religion is actually feminism and atheism. There seems to be a persistent idea, particularly among white middle class atheists, that because they're so enlightened, because they use rational thoughts to decide what's right and what's wrong, that they couldn't ever possibly do anything that may be possibly inadvertently, but still sexist or racist, when actually it can be a pretty chilly and downright toxic atmosphere of sexism in atheist circles and in particular around certain atheist idols. Yet if and when feminist atheists or atheist women do bring up the sexism that they've experienced in the community or, or just even casually mention how things could be better, they're often shouted down. A prime example of this is the elevator gate scandal that happened last year. For those of you who aren't part of the atheist community or just haven't didn't hear about what happened, Rebecca Watson, who's a relatively prominent feminist atheist woman, was at a skeptics conference and she was heading back from the bar at 4 a.m. and she got in a, a lift to go up to her hotel room and a man got in the lift with her and propositioned her. And later on, when recounting her experiences at the conference uh, in a YouTube video, which I'll link to below. She mentioned the incident and how uncomfortable it made her feel and just said, guys, don't do that. And subsequently, all hell broke loose in, ironically, in the atheist online community because she dared to suggest that men shouldn't proposition women when alone in elevators at, in the middle of the night because it might, because it makes some women, a lot of women, feel uncomfortable and threatened, including an incredibly offensive and drippingly sarcastic comment from atheist idol Richard Dawkins himself, who seemed to think that Rebecca should have kept quiet about this incident and stop whining because we need to, it, because again, we need to be getting on with the important issue at hand of saving women from all these religious barbarians. So although I am an atheist and a feminist, I feel like both within atheism there needs to be a much stronger drive to tackle and acknowledge the sexism that's often present, and within feminism we need to be much better at tackling uh, the, the anti-religious attitude that can often pervade. Please post below in the comments with your thoughts and reply with response videos. It would be amazing to get some perspectives from religious women speaking about how they experience their religion and feminism and whether they feel that there is a clash there, whether they actually feel that the, the two are supportive of each other. I suspect that this is potentially going to be quite a divisive uh, subject, but hopefully we can get a good and open discussion going um, and maybe try and dispel a few myths. Um, bye!